Okay, so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I'm going to go ahead and pot up my elephant ears to go ahead and start waking them up for the spring and summer. So I went to Home Depot and I picked up a bag of elephant ears. I actually picked up the wrong ones and I got the super mammoth. So I went back and I had to go and get the regular elephant ear size just because I didn't want them to be too big. So this is the elephant ear um, box that I actually picked up today at the store and these will get five to seven inches and they also have um, five in a pack. So there's also another bag that comes with three of the bulbs that are going to be around $10. But for what I'm planning on doing, I needed to have at least four because I am planning on putting at least two or three of them in the ground and then the other two are going to be in pots. So the one that has the three for 10, that one averages, I believe, between five to nine inches or seven to nine inches. So that one's, that's the um, difference in the price. Like I mentioned, I didn't want mine to get too big. And when I realized that I bought super mammoth by mistake, I knew I had to go and take those back. So I'm going to just be showing you guys what the actual bulbs look like. I'm going to show you my soil mixture and um, how I plan on potting it up and I do plan on um, showing you guys the progress over the months until it, they are in full bloom. Today is actually January 29th and I'm going to just go ahead and get them started. So a few things about the um, elephant ears as well as my mix before I actually show you guys what I'm going to be doing. When I do my mix, I'm going to go ahead and use regular potting soil and I mix in peat moss as well as some type of um, dried cow manure or just some type of compost material because elephant ears, they are heavy drinkers. Make sure that you keep them very um, moist, but not, you know, soaking wet. You just want to make sure that they don't ever dry out because they are heavy drinkers. And then I also have to come in with some type of compost to make sure that you are fertilizing these. So right now, like I said, we are just trying to wake them up. So that's why I go in with my initial mix as the cow manure as my fertilizer just because I don't want to over fertilize right now and the corms are still sleeping. They're not really taking in that moisture as well as that um, fertilizer. But you just want to make sure that it is there so when as they do wake up and they begin to sprout and flower that they have enough. I'm also going to show you everything that I am using. So I have most of my pots are averaging about this size and um, I'm going to show you the corms as well. I'm also going to be using coffee filters to place at the bottom for good drainage and to kind of hold in that moisture as well. And then I have my peat moss in a little um, pot like this. And then I will have to insert pictures of the garden soil and the um, cow manure just because I don't want to place that on the table. Ideally, I would like to be outside to show this to you guys, but it has been raining for the past few days and it does not show sign of stopping. And I really need to go ahead and get these potted up. So um, that's why I have to do this inside. But I do have my table covered up with the trash bag. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my corms. And it says that there were five in there, but I actually got around six of them or I believe I actually got seven, but one of them, I'm glad that it actually turned out that one of them are, um, is actually not going to be a good um, bulb. So I will show that to you guys, but all, most of them are averaging about this size right here. And as you can see, here is the growth point on this one. So you can see that nice little pink eye right here. And then I can also kind of see a few more of them kind of around it. So I'm actually going to place this down in the soil this way, making sure that this growth point or this eye is sticking up. And if you can't figure out where yours um, starts, then you can always lay them on the side because the elephant ears will, um, they will make their way to sprout up. So you just want to make sure you don't ever plant it downward. If you can't see that, you want to make sure you plant it down to the side or just lay it sideways and it will eventually find its way up when it gets sprouting and then I have these two here that have really good growth points on them as well so again growth point here and here and they'll be just kind of going down this way now I do have this one where there's not really like a very defined growth point but I can see that this side is more flat than the bottom and this is where all of the um, old roots were and you can tell that this is this flat side is where they cut off the branch whenever they were getting ready to pull these back up so I know to plant this one up this way but 
had I not known that, of course, again, I would lay it on this side. And you'll also kind of notice where the growth points are. There's also kind of like rings, I guess, kind of like where the branches were at as well. So that's another indication that you should be paying um, planning this side um, kind of going up, pointing in an upward direction. So here are two more of the bulbs that came. Now, even I am not extremely sure where these um, growth points originated from on here. So I'm going to plant both of these actually in the same pot and I'm going to lay them both sideways. So that way, whenever the elephant ear starts to wake up, they will just, um, they will begin to sprout in the upward direction. But like I said, I don't, I'm not comfortable with choosing that this would be the upside or if this would be the side that I'm supposed to lay them up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play it safe and these will be placed sideways in my container. Last bulb that I have to show you before I actually show you how I'm gonna be piling these up is one that is no good. So as you guys can clearly see here already, the white kind of molded area, you probably can't actually see it squishing in, but this is this corn here is actually pretty soft and it's squishy and I don't wanna run the risk of trying to plant this and infecting anything else with this mold that's kind of already growing on it. Some surface mold is okay as long as it's not, I mean, this one has gotten pretty bad and like I said, it's gotten to the point where this corn isn't is, it's not going to be promising anyways just because it's gotten to that point where I can comfortably squish this in so I'm not going to worry about even planting that one I'm just going to toss it out and now I'm just going to go ahead and pot up um I'm going to go ahead and pot up at least four of these and then I'll come back and show you guys how I'm actually potting it up Right, so I know that I mentioned that I would come back and just show you one on camera, but I did want to just go ahead and show you guys how I have these in here. So I had to um, rethink how I was going to do the one, the two that I told you that I would have to lay on the side just because the larger one was a bit wider and I needed a wider pot for that one. So as you can see, I have one where the growth point or the eye is sticking straight up and then that other one where I wasn't too sure where the, um, the growth points would be, I had to go ahead and lay it on the side. So I just want to show you guys kind of how they're in there and they're just nice and snug and I'm just going to go ahead and take my um, mix and put some more on top of it and there is another one and we've got this one here which is the one that was also which is the second one that I have laying on this side and then the last one so now I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into showing you guys how I make my mixture. All right, so I am back and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I'm gonna pot these up. So I have my pot here. I'm just gonna go ahead and place my coffee filter at the bottom of it. And we're just gonna stick that down in there. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up so I can show you guys the potting mix as well as the um, cow manure that I'm using. So I'm just using this miracle Grow indoor potting mix. And here is the cow manure that I'm using. And those two products, you can find those at your local Home Depot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling this up with about equal amounts of um, each product. And I realized that I said equal amounts, but I probably won't put an equal amount of cow manure mixed in with the soil just because I need just enough of that just for the fertilizing purposes. I don't want to overdo it. Let me just sprinkle that in. It's just dried out kind of or with kind of like a twisting motion to just mix it in really well. And then I'm going to go in with the peat moss. And again, just going like that. And I forgot to mention that I actually live in zone 8, 8B to be particular. So 
These are actually hardy in my zone and I can leave these in the ground over the winter. And then here is my last bulb. I'm just gonna take it and kind of press it into the soil. That way it sits nice and snug in the middle of the container. And then basically all I'm gonna do is just go and add that same mixture that I just created and put it on top of it and cover it up. So now that's all mixed in and this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna go ahead and give these a good water and I'll come back and show you guys the progress of everything. you guys so today is march 8th and i wanted to just show you guys the update on the elephant ears so as you guys can see i am starting to get eyes developing here or rather they're starting to get they haven't sprouted because they haven't came up out of the soil yet but i think that's just because of how um deep i buried them so there's one This one I couldn't dig far enough. I think this may be the one that I have two in and it may be turned sideways. So I couldn't get to this one and then this is the last one. So I did go ahead and bring these outside just because it is getting warm enough now to have them out here. The average has gotten to about 65 in between 70 and 80 each day. So I just wanted to go ahead and update you guys. I did decide to bring them outside just because it was getting easier to keep these warmer outside than it was in the house. So there's an update. All right, you guys. So I am very happy at the surprise that I got this morning. This is one of the elephant ears. And as you guys can see right here, we have a sprout that has come up and you can even see kind of the pattern of the leaf that is going to be there so i have been checking on these diligently every day and i just happened to go out there this morning and it has finally popped through the soil so today is um i believe march um i'll have to pop it up on the, the bottom of the screen because i actually don't remember i think it's like march either 26 27th but i will put it on the screen but I just wanted to come and show you guys that I have finally got one. Let me focus it. Finally got one that has finally pushed through the soil. So as they continue to start coming up, I will let you guys know. None of the other ones have popped through the soil yet, but I just wanted to come and show you guys this one.